episode of Black Ink Crew. And it started off with them talking about done in this fight of what have you and what not. He he ha ha yeah, it was funny. Anyway, moving on from it. My highlight for the whole conversation is when Kitty asked them where was they managing and she started imitating Sky. <laughs> Church fed. Church fed on deck. Somebody tell me was she not imitating Sky to the T. But I'm going to tell you what, Kitty. You knew to say say it when Sky wasn't there. You knew you couldn't say nothing if Sky was there because you ain't, your comebacks ain't quick enough for Sky face to face. So you knew you had to hurry up and say that while she wasn't there. But I'm going to tell you what, you was, <laughs> you was killing it. You was serving it up on the platter for real with some cheese and crackers and some pepperonis and some broccolis and carrot sticks. But that's okay. That's what Sky gets. Because Sky was kind of bullying that girl on the last episode. But anyway. So now we see why Caesar don't want Sky there. So he can have all these hot wild parties. He knows Sky going to come in. Be loud. Kind of disruptive. Clowning around. You know. Asking the food. Keeping his, his uh, hose in check. So... He was trying to keep her down there in New York, keep her occupied so he could have a house to himself and just be large and in charge. But you know what? He really don't run that business good by himself, real talk. He really don't. But anyway, somebody uh better tell Caesar that this the South. And in the South, people, we old school, people uh, be trying to raise their kids. Their kids go to bed at nine after the mom, after the parents and help them with homework. People trying to get up and go to work the next day or either trying to get up and go to church the next day. They not trying to hear no cars outside passing their house with loud music. Because you know how it is when you have them kind of parties and you invite them kind of people and you keep that kind of company. It's going to be... Um, Cars driving past the house with loud music playing and whatnot and what have you and so forth. People being loud out there giggling and talking, leaving their trash and beer cups and cans in your yard. You know folks don't know how to act. Y'all already know that. You can't be down there in the South doing that. This ain't New York where everybody just trashed the streets and they don't have no respect for nothing and be loud and all outside. No, we, they, we don't do that in the South. Let me get some tea. Don't ever put no tea in one of these cups because it'll stay scorching hot for like 12 hours and you can't drink it. If you're trying to drink tea today, you have to put it in a regular cup. Ooh, that tea's still hot. Anyway, let's get on into the rest of this. Then Donna, she about to ruin, ruin another friendship by trying to uh, have this girl as her roommate. Let's see how many um roommates has it been that she done destroyed now. Yeah, this is going to be another person on her list. She's going to be on Help Me Howard again. But anyway, they was looking at apartments. $4,000 for an apartment. Honey, $4,000 a month here in the South will get you about a 12-bedroom, uh, 13-bathroom house on a lake. With an in-ground swimming pool and a couple of horses on the farm running around with some peach trees, some apple trees, some pear trees. Girl, you better move to the south if you're going to be paying that a month. That's too high. That's okay. Y'all can have New, New York with everything blowing up, people blowing up everything every week. Uh, uh-uh, Not even rent that high. But anyway, the building manager, when they got to this other apartment, come running down talking about, honestly, you won't help me how We can't rent to you. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Donna, I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to have to send your roommate to get y'all place, and you can't go. You're going to have to, you better uh get on Instagram and look look at how they be slaying their faces and changing their whole look. Put on you some black hair because they see all that neon and pink. They already know it's you coming. You better put on a whole new face mask and get you an apartment because, honey, they ain't about to rent uh, to you for nothing. They When you get mad, they know you bust windows out and you break doors and you don't pay your rent. They ain't even t- <laughs> taking no chances. But anyway, 
Alex goes to see his son. Now let me get into this. Cause this is where all my beef my beef lies right here. It ain't no beef, but I just got a lot to say about it. Let me get this part out of the way so we can talk about it. Alex goes to meet his his um baby mama. Her name is Leasia, so he can um spend some time with his son and just hang out with his son for a couple of hours, you know. And I think he said Albany, which is a good piece from where he is and whatnot. So, you know, he can go on back home or whatever. They have a decent relationship with co-parenting or whatever and what have you. But anyway, after he goes on this trip, gets, gets back, he's at Black Ink. He, he tells them. Now, he tells them. The cops just got it out for him because who his daddy was. His daddy basically was this big drug dealer. And that they just uh, targeting him or whatnot. And then, like, one of his first charge, one of his charges, he uh, had been smoking weed. And he was a little high. And the cops knew it. His story's one-sided. He lying. He lying. And I'm going to tell you, at first, I was feeling sorry for him. I'm just all just, like, in my feelings. I'm like... I'm so tired of this racism because these cops don't play, blah, blah, blah. They, like, seriously targeting people. But then when we get on down toward the end of the show, I got mad because he had me feeling sorry for him for nothing. No, no, Alex. You was in trouble because you, you just wanted to be in trouble. You wasn't being targeted. You was doing stuff that was wrong. And see, my issue with all of this is because the Black Lives Matter thing is real. It's real people out here in the world that the cops are targeting. There's real people out here in the world that really have issues that really aren't doing anything. But see, you're not innocent. And I don't like people hollering that they innocent and pretending that they innocent when they not. You lie. You outright lie. So let me tell you, Alex, what your problem is. Vagina slave. You got caught doing some weed, doing something. You popped off with a cop and then tried to run away. And then when they caught you, you was trying to fight him and whatnot. That gave you a charge. You got charges for other stuff. You got charges for failure to appear. Then this what get me when you sit up here in court, come to find out you wasn't supposed to be paying for $10 a month, but you was behind $82. $10 a month. I stood out there and tap dance on the streets and, and held up a sign that says we'll work for food for $10 a month so I could have paid my tickets. You in the trouble you in because you irresponsible. You are irresponsible little boy. That's why you in the trouble you in. They not targeting you. You is you. It's not the police. It's you. You doing stuff and then you want to say the police is targeting you. What do you think you supposed to do? Sit around and break the law and sit a fat around on the corner and do stuff and then when, when the police is either called on you or they show up, then you want to holler victim. No, I'm tired of people doing that. That's old and don't do that because it make it hard for the ones that stuff bad is really happening to you. But going on, they arrested you because you, 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 um, have warrants in two other other cities for for doing stuff and don't act like they targeting you didn't do nothing wrong because if you already know here you wasn't paying your fines and tickets and you done been arrested eight times then you know somewhere else you weren't paying your your fines and tickets so to have Teddy out here with his heart on his sleeve worrying about you have his feelings all fresh about what happened to his brother you on some BS get your life right player vagina slayer Stop telling lies. Handle your business. You on this show, when you get your check, the first thing you need to do is go pay off all these fines and pay off all these tickets. Don't go down to the shoe store and buy you no new Tims. Don't go down to the to Macy's and buy you no new gear. Get you behind down here to the courthouses and all these eight cities you got all these warrants and tickets in. Pay your damn tickets off and get this stuff off your record and stop lying and keep your nose clean, little boy. So tired of people being... But give me some tea. Where my fan that got me got me big mad over here. Shoot, I don't get bad big mad over no sorry people. Yeah, I mean, drink me some tea. Shoot. Oh, that tea's still hot. Don't put your tea in this cup, y'all. It'll stay hot twelve hours. They they Move about on. not go have no show because Donna about to have the whole cast going to jail and this many minivan riding 12 deep trying to put up these pictures about her <laughs> her old roommate and the popo pulling up boop boop 
Y'all all about to go to jail for for Donna. Y'all y'all better stop trying to be petty. And let that let that alone. Y'all know from experience that Donna is a bad roommate, and let that be. Cause Donna done got messed up with everybody else. Don't let, let Donna mess y'all up too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sky, um, and Caesar went out trying to do a little community service, trying to get Black Ink open again. First of all, Sky, when you go to a nursing home, the first thing they, these are these are some original grandmothers and older people put some clothes on we know you got your body snatched it's really nice looking and it's pretty and all but we don't need to see it all day every day it's kind of just being an overkill at this point you need to learn to be more professional when you went down to the nursing home and you could have put on it's it's a million kind of workout clothes you could have put on uh, that didn't have your stomach out with the little shirts that you know with the little sleeves and stuff here that wick away sweat that would have been cute that's more athletic. Then you're gonna have to come down and tone it down. You too dog gonna loud. All that loudness and that screaming and hollering, that's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. It's too much. And Caesar was trying to humor you and give a little excitement by letting you talk down at City Hall at the meeting. Well, y'all was suspended. He must have on black ink open no more because he know you don't know how to greet and talk to no doggone people. But Caesar is good with the people. He turned them out down at the nursing home. They loved him. He was a gentleman. His mama done raised him right. He was a gentleman, a businessman all together. He handled it. He did it. He did great. Um, When he talked to the people down at, at City Hall, he, he was very educated and very mature. I wasn't surprised. That's pretty much what, what I expected from him. He talked to the people. Ask people, what can I do for you? What can I help you do? What would you like for me? That's what you need to do if you want your business to succeed. He's trying to grow. And that's how you behave if you're trying to grow. That's how you talk to people. And I'm hoping Sky takes note. And I feel like he wanted Sky to stay in Atlanta so he could really have a break from Sky. Because he needed, you know, some one, some quietness. Two, he didn't feel like he was, didn't want to feel like he was babysitting because she just kind of out there and he just wanted some normalcy for a little while because she needed to come down a little bit, get her thought process right. I probably think she needed to get on some medicine. We all take a little medicine. I take some of myself to stay calm. When I don't take my medicine, I act like Scott. That's why I know I can talk about it because I'm speaking from experience. I can get loud, rambunctious, act up like that. I have to take medicine to keep me real in. To keep me here. Not if I don't take medicine, I'm here. Up here. Y'all can't see me because, honey, I'm past the raptors. I be gone. Long, long gone. I have to have something that brings me down here with y'all normal people so I can be normal like y'all. Scott, take your medicine, honey. If you ain't got none, go get some. Other than that, that's all of my review for this show. I want y'all to be sure that y'all subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hit that little notification bell so you'll know when I update another review, reaction, or recap from a show. I appreciate you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And i see y'all next time. Bye.